Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you about a program that is called Nexus Font. And I just recently found this and I am so excited about it that I had to share it with you guys. It is so convenient and I just find that I'm using it so much. And this is just a free download. So if you just type in Nexus font, um, if you just Google it, and you can just download it for free. And this program is so great for organizing all of your fonts. And another thing that I love about it is you can sample a font. So um, if you are working on a project and you want to see what the font will look like for your project, this really helps you organize it all. So what you do is you type in what you are going to put on your project. So I am making a onesie for a friend of mine. She's having a baby girl. So I'm just going to type in the snuggle is real. And here you can see all of the fonts and what they look like. And it shows all of the fonts that are installed in your computer. And you can go also go over to the search bar here and type in a specific font. Um, but it'll show all of your fonts here. It's all in alphabetical order. And you can see what it looks like. Um, you can also change the size of it. You can go to like 72, make it bigger. You can, let's see, if you go over to edit, actually view you can do italic so you can see what it looks like like that you can also change the font color so you can do like a blue color and hit OK and that helps you see kind of what it will look like with what color your project is going to be um, and let's see I'll change this back to black you can do different things like that you can do a background color so lots of different things that you can change it and just see what it'll look like. I'm going to go back and change this back to white. The other thing that I really like about this is you can have specific folders and they're called collections and I am opening up an Etsy shop so I have commercial use fonts so that helps me organize all of my fonts that I can use to sell on Etsy. So I have all of those there. I have different things like dingbats that I like. I also have um, monogram, I, oh, for some reason it's not under there. Um, I have script fonts I like, so here's all my different scripts that I like. If I wanted to show uh, my friend that I'm making this onesie for her, these different fonts, and ask her which one she wants, I could easily do that. And what I could do is I could make a new folder. I can either right click and hit new collection or I can go down here to the plus sign and select new collection and I can type in baby girl onesie which I spelled wrong but I'm just gonna leave it there um, and then I can go through these and see which ones I like or think that she might like I'm just selecting kind of random ones just to give you an idea of what I am talking about let's say I just choose these so I can select those and I will drag these over to my collection folder and then I will, can click on that and let's say I just like these top three. You can click on these top three and just select selected and you can just see the ones that are selected. And if I want to send these to her, I can go over to font and click on export as image and then I will select save. And then I can type in baby girl onesie, hit save, and then I can go over to my folder and let's see what it's saved under, right here. So I can just double click on this and you can see it right here and what I can do is I could just email this to her and she can choose which font she likes. Okay, so I think that's an easy way to just send send some fonts to somebody and let them decide on what they like. So that's pretty much all of the tutorial here. I just think that this is an awesome program. It's 
so convenient to be able to see what your fonts look like and easily choose for a project if it's personal use or for commercial use. I love having these folders here and it's free. So I just had to share this with you guys because I was so excited when I found it for myself. Um, but that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know if there's anything that I'm missing from this or if there's other ways that you like to um, organize your fonts. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you can follow along with all my videos. I share Cricut tutorials. I share different projects that I make with my Cricut. And I'm also setting up an Etsy shop. So while I'm learning different things with that, then I will share that as well. I'm looking into um, doing a video on commercial use SVGs and fonts and where I find those at. And I've been doing a lot of research on that. So I thought that I would share that with you guys um, for the people that sell their um, own projects like I will be doing. So if please subscribe to my channel and I would love to have you guys here with me and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.